Hi, you're watching Laptop Media with another inside video, this time of the new super thin and light Toshiba Kira, ultrabook by the Japanese company. It looks like a bit plastic and feels a bit like that, but overall the construction is solid, screen hinge is tight and the palm rest area is protected by new strong construction including magnesium components. I really like the overall build quality. I can't say it is exactly rock solid, but gives me the necessary confidence I need for traveling. It is a bit of a challenge to open this laptop because of the many screws on bottom, but apart from that, removing backplate is not a hard job. That plate looks quite flexible when it is removed, but once in place, it gives enough sturdiness to the case. Inside, most of the space is dedicated to the battery. You can see its capacity close to 3400 mAh. From the rest, let's mention only the main components. As you can see, there is no RAM slot. All the memory chips are soldered on the motherboard. But here is something interesting. This solid state drive is made by Toshiba themselves, as you can see here. We also have the slot for the wireless adapter. And of course, my favorite little cute cooling fan that is noisy like I don't know what, actually I think it is the only fan that can produce such kind of noise. For the last couple of years I have heard similar noise coming from the other business notebooks they have. Ok, maybe I'm a bit too harsh with this cooling fan, it is something you will probably get used to and it's not going to bother you while working, but simply I cannot believe how such a small fan can produce this noise once it is on. It's not always on, but still, come on Toshiba, you can do better. And one last thing, you cannot use cable connection on this laptop. I know it's not a big deal, but some other companies offer this through adapter of some sort. We haven't tested this one, but it might also support such connection through some of the USB ports, for example. This is the Toshiba Kira Ultrabook, or at least what is inside of it. Subscribe to our channel and visit laptopmedia.com to see more tests of this device. See you there, bye.